So building relationships become crucial. You know, what I've done is having listening sessions, have what we call town halls or road shows, go to where people are, go to where the community is, begin to understand the dynamics of the community and how the community operates. What is the community's perception of the care that we deliver? So you have to be present in this role. You have to be humble and you have to have really good listening skills and build a team that is, I would say, a multidisciplinary team uh, of, of people around you that not going to always agree. But that's the beauty of it. If they don't always agree, you're going to generate new ideas and how to redesign and innovate around equity. And, and that's what you have to do. We, we um, are reluctant even to, to uh, engage with people that we used to call laggards that are now traditions. Those are the folks that's going to always find a way to push back. So as a chief of equity, you need to go and, and meet with those people and say, tell me what you know about this. What's your perspective? Because they might have solutions that, that you can use when you come back to help everyone. So that's where the courage comes in. Uh, we, we tend to go with the people that just are going to agree with everything we do and say. And I would say for this role, you can't do that. Uh, meet with the communities because they, they're going to be the ones that's going to tell you the truth of the truth right, on, on what's happening with them and listen and then close the loop by being accountable. That's what I mean by, by skinning the game. When, the, when they say, here's what we need, then as, as a chief of equity working with that other team, uh, then it becomes uh, how do we demonstrate to people and the community that we listen and, and that we truly did act on this in a way that's going to improve their lives and improve the care that they receive inside the system.